Welcome to Borderlands, it's Abyss, and in this video today, I'm going to show you how to unlock the trophy slash achievement called Spicy Boy. Now in order to unlock it, you need to defeat Hatterax the Invincible. Now the first thing you need to do is talk to Sir Hammerlock at the back burner. This is the new region for our DLC. He would basically start this quest line. Now this boss is very difficult and especially even more difficult if you're a solo player like me. All right, so I'm gonna show you a couple strategies in order to defeat him. The first one I'm gonna show you is highly recommended doing this with a partner in co-op. As you see, I went to one of the craters in the ground. It will launch you up to the side of the map onto one of these ledges. This is when you'll have a perfect opportunity to hit one of the two crit spots. So the first one I'm gonna show you right now is at the back of the neck. So you'll see him right there and I'm gonna pause it. You can see that glowing right there on the back of his neck that is the crit spot so once you do enough damage to that crit spot he's going to fall forward towards the middle of the map with the mouth wide open just like that so with a co-op partner one is on a ledge right there hitting the crit spot while the other is in front of the mouth hitting the second crit spot so that is the easiest way to defeat him if you have a partner that can help you out now for me i did not have any of that i am a solo player with the siren so this is going to be a fairly difficult fight for me alone. All right, so let's go over a couple of its attacks. One is a green spitball, which will deal corrosive damage. Next, if you get close enough to him at the middle of the map, he will slam its body down, which will do even more damage. Now, if you happen to dodge that or it happens to miss, uh, he will basically stand straight up still and start sending boulders down. Kind of like what you're seeing right now, you see the boulders drop down on the map. And then last, if you do more than 25% damage to him, he will start riding through the map while regenerating all of its health. So my strategy was simple as a solo player. It was hard to get on that ledge and hit the crit spot while also doing damage. Now, if you have a strong enough weapon and that you can do a lot of damage to that first crit spot in the back of his neck, then you probably won't have too much trouble at all. But for me, I didn't have a strong enough weapon or anything like that to where I can do enough damage to where I can kill him. So what I did is I basically used myself as bait. I went to the center of the map. I wait for him to slam down. What I hope to do is sidestep it and then I can easily start doing as much damage as I can possible. Because the second attack, what he'll do is start sending boulders down from the sky. So you still have a good period of time to where you can do a lot of damage to him. All right, so when he slams his body down, there is a brief moment to where you can hit that crit spot on the back of his neck, like I did right there in the video. And you can see that is when he'll open his mouth and you can hit the second crit spot. So you can still hit that crit spot on the back of his neck when he slams his body down. But like I showed you in the beginning of the video, it is easier to do on that higher ledge. So what you'll notice is, see how his health is less than 25%. The good news is when he starts traveling through the map, regenerating all of his health, it will not go 100% full. It'll go probably to about 75%. So you can still chip away his health as much as you can possible until you're able to defeat him 100%. Other than that, I hope you all enjoy the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel, and I will see you next time.